How many seasonal snorkel survey crew members does it take to make breakfast? Snorkel survey crews spend eight consecutive days together while working in remote locations and overcoming logistical challenges to collect wild salmon and steelhead trout data. Some days, their endurance and tolerance levels are pushed to their limits. They endure long hours together while crawling up cold mountain streams, hiking dusty trails during the heat of the day, and tolerating relentless attacks from horse flies and other biting insects. Fortunately though, most of the places they work are spectacular. The trial's bearable, the discomforts are soon forgotten or absorbed into the legend of their summer and the friendships forged will last a lifetime. In my experience as a crew leader, the common trait shared by successful crews is a positive working relationship among the team members. Some call this chemistry. Just as with team sports, chemistry is an essential element for cohesion and synchronization. <laughs> This does not mean that crew members are homogenous. A successful crew is like a jigsaw puzzle. Each member is a unique piece of the team and contributes a different set of talents and skills to the final compilation. When the pieces are joined together, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. This is known as synergy. This job opportunity promotes synergy. For example, some crews divide the meals evenly among members, so each makes a few meals alone. Is that what it is? Some crews divide the meal tasks evenly, so each helps with each meal, and some do a combination of both. None of these routines are right or wrong. What matters in the end is that each crew member contributes equally during the hitch and thereby enhances the overall experience had by all. No! I'll start once. They're gonna cook before I start. In my opinion, as the crew leader, one of my greatest disappointments is when the chemistry is incompatible. Just as synergy can amplify a positive experience, it can amplify a negative experience. Consequently, I spend as much time considering an applicant's personality as their fisheries knowledge and skills to find potentially compatible crew members. Synergy is not always possible, regardless of the effort invested. However, more often than not, I am fortunate and get to witness the magic of an epic crew as they learn to work as one unit to exceed project goals and expectations. So, back to my opening question. How many seasonal snorkel survey crew members does it take to make breakfast? Well, if you are lucky, as many as there are on the crew, with each of them contributing equally to make breakfast. If you are really lucky as a crew leader, this will still be the case for dinner dessert at the end of a grueling day of collecting wild salmon and steelhead trout data.